Hello everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to use our uh, uh, tensile creep tester uh, that is not only tensile creep tester, of course it is usable for uh, full notch creep tests and the two notch creep tests uh, according to ISO and DVS norms uh, uh, th this machine is being manufactured in all the different load capacities in our factory uh, this is the machine with the capacity of uh, a force capacity of up to 1000 newton that uh, 1000 kg force uh, that is 10000 newton and uh, it includes uh, six stations because according to the norm we need at least uh, six stations six test stations uh, equipped with a touch screen 10 inch touch screen Uh, automatic uh, lifting of uh, loads, loading weights, uh, force measurement capacity, hot water bath, circulation system, all is according to the specified norm. Uh, here, uh, at first you need to choose according to which standard you're going to do the test, uh, DVS and ISO. Uh, let's uh, see uh, what will be available in the software according to DVS. Please choose DVS 2203. Yeah, the third one. Okay. And when you choose DVS norm, you, uh, you will have three pages for tests of samples. You see here. First one is the parent material testing. Second page, uh, test results for welded samples. And the third page will be for the... Uh, uh, welding factor calculation uh, and also calculating uh, welding factor for different times and uh, and uh, preparing the regression graphs for the operator according to the test results yeah uh, software will give you results in the Excel uh, okay let's see what we need to do uh, to do the test we have six set of grips yeah, here, uh, this is a stainless steel grips. Uh, for example, this sample is 30 millimeter thickness. You will assemble the, uh, the grips like this. You will have four screws for grips and uh, two pins. Yeah, you, uh, you will have set screws, uh, three set screws, and also three pins. Uh, for gripping the sample, uh, you have one uh, gripper, uh, three set of screw in each side, you see here, and also two pins for uh, holding the, the, the sample, not to slip uh, out from the gripper. Yeah, the, the sample will be assembled like this. Yeah, you can adjust the height using the screws of the gripper, you, you see here. There are two screws to adjust the height. For adjusting the height of the grips, you have two screws. One is uh, underneath below here, uh, just uh, right below load cell, and the other is upper side. You can adjust the height of the gripper. So that when the load is in upper position, you see the load of this station that is six, station number six is in upper, upper position, and you need to adjust the screws so that it's easily go inside the gripper, yeah? Yeah, then uh, after you, after you uh, adjust the screws here uh, for the gripper to be easily um, uh, fit inside uh, the, the, the female grip. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Uh, that uh, before we adjusting the height, you need to to click on the uh, the. Um, the cylinders that uh, lifting the loading weights yeah it is in upper position 
and after putting it inside you can uh, just uh, just close the uh, yeah yeah cylinder is activated it's coming up you see here the loading base is coming up and when it's going down it's loading the sample then uh, it is uh, already loaded you see here lift the loading weights up adjust the height of the gripper and then uh, move the, uh, the cylinder downward and then sample will be loaded and after you load the sample you will see the force and the stress in cross section of the sample you see this is the station number uh, six or already loaded and the stress in this uh, in the cross section of the sample is calculated you see the samples will be defined here in sample page in, in samples page you have six samples uh, you need to define if it is a notch a notch creep test you need to define also the notch depth if it is not uh, notched samples I mean if it is a creep tester you need to put the notch depth to zero and also define all other parameters then you will come to time to failure sample is loaded already loaded uh, force is adjusted the force will be adjusted uh, using this uh, sliding mechanism here you will adjust the slider in a position that you catch the specified uh, stress in cross-section of samples and after that you will fix it in position yeah because you know tensile creep test is a stationary load it's constant load and you will come to time to failure page here you need to reset Each channel you're going to test, yeah, you need to reset. Uh, also, uh, click on start and start. The timing for this station will be start. And whenever samples failed and uh, this uh, switch is activated, uh, that line will be stopped automatically. And uh, then, after doing uh, all these tests for uh, samples for parent material and also welded samples you will come to uh, test the results calculation page here it will calculate the regression graphs for the parent material and here in this page it will calculate for the uh, welded samples and in this page if you click calculate uh, it will uh, it will uh, calculate the uh, the welding factor uh, according to the results that uh, uh, we've got from six uh, samples and six stations uh, Also, you have the capability of uh, Graphing the temperature of the water bath that is not water bath only water bath the solution will be uh, our copal 2% uh, Also a gap 2% it depends on the standards you choose and uh, after doing all these tests uh, and test is finished uh, you need to click on the stop and report yeah it will give you report on Excel yeah this uh, report will be different for different uh, standards you choose uh, in the beginning I mean uh, if you choose DVS of course it is uh, the different mm, yeah you need to choose uh, left to right page layout yeah this is a left to right report and when you come down you see sample parameters uh, all, uh, all sample parameters general parameters of the sample uh, sample dimensions graphs regression graphs for the parent and welded samples, parent material and welded samples, time to failure for each station and also the, uh, the graphs for the welding factor calculation and also welding factor for different times. It can uh, calculate welding factor for a specific time and vice versa. 
uh, this is uh, how you will get the report and uh, you can uh, take the reports uh, using a flash disk here uh, you see this is industri industrial computer you can print reports out and uh, whatever you want yeah this is the AHP uh, tensile creep tester also it can be full notch creep tester and uh, two notch creep tester with different load capacities yeah thank you for your note